How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching this video and just a quick note if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and when you do click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel that way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here. Thanks for watching. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Source Code. My name is Sean, and today we are doing we are on the second episode of our Let's Recreate uh, Hypixel's TNT Tag and last episode we left off creating this Player Managers class which we already kind of went over it basically just manages our class <clears throat> and once again all the code will be available to you guys on github um, but I just want to head to our main class here and I want to make one small change remember last episode I talked about how we could use an array list well we don't actually want to use an array list because this is just going to create a giant list and we won't really be able to get individual players so what we actually want to do is we do want to use a hash map and we want it to be UID and then a um, and then the player manager. So we'll just go ahead and re-import that. I've been having some troubles here with Eclipse in my, because I use Dropbox to to sync all my files so I can use it from computer to computer without having to put on a kind of flash drive and potentially lose it all. So we gotta go back here to our events class and we will just change this to put, and then we will just say UUID. And now that is good. So <clears throat> what we're gonna do in this video, sorry, I have a little, um, a little my throat's a little iffy today. Um, so what we have to create now is I said we were going to create our game manager and our game manager is going to do quite a lot of things So our game manager is going to set up our game. We're going to have um, It's going to manage our lobby. It's going to do our countdowns um, It's going to do it's going to take care of our game start and our game stop um, So it, it's going to have a lot going on and I hope that I can get it all covered in this particular video here um, we're also going to change our events class. We're going to call this game mechanics because um, that's what this uh, events class is really going to end up doing. It's going to be our game mechanics class. So we'll just change that everywhere. All right, so now that is all set. So let's go ahead and create our game manager class and this as well is going to implements listener let's go over here and we'll just copy and paste this so we have it listener and we'll import that all right so one of the first things we have to do is we have to basically create our countdown integer here so private int <clears throat> lobby countdown and we're gonna say once there's enough players it's going to take 10 seconds to for the match to start and then we want a private int explosion countdown because we want to know how long it has to take until the next explosion happens which is going to be 30 seconds and for this we are just going to use um the bucket run uh bucket runnables um just to keep things easy uh, and simple you can do current time uh, I'm just going to do this way because we're just doing a very simple countdown we're not really uh, keeping track of uh, different players um, you can do it however you feel um, but if you want to follow along uh, make sure to do it uh, with the buck runnables and then we need a private another private int for players needed um, we're gonna say that we need um, for now we'll just say two just so I can uh, actually do this and then we're going to need a location. Um, this is going to be lobby spawn. And we're going to need a, another location, which is going to be game spawn. And let me just fix that to a capital L. And bucket org location, lobby spawn. Let's set that in. All right. So one of the first things we're going to do is we're just going to set up everything that we're going to need. So we're going to need a public void set up game. And as you guys can see, I'm trying better with my name and conventions. Um, I'm trying. Uh, that goes out to you, Paratone. Or I don't even remember what, how to exactly pronounce your name. But you know who you know who I'm talking about. I think you're Max F in the comments as well. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and say public void lobby wait. And this is going to require a player. 
and we'll go ahead and import player. We're going to need a public void game start. And we're also going to need a couple more things here. We're going to need a public void game stop. So what's going to happen when the game actually stops? Um, and this is uh, well, actually we'll just add a comment here real quick. So implement bungee cord. We're going to be going over bungee cord because we're going to use a we're going to set up a bungee cord server. So that way um, I'm not going to go over how to set up a bungee cord server. I'm just going to set up my bungee cord server and then uh, show you guys how to implement that into your uh, into your plugin. And then we're going to need two more things here, which is going to be public void uh, explosion countdown. And now you really could do this on, in a different way. You could all you could literally just do this in one countdown class um, or method. I'm going to do it in two separate ones, and then we're going to go ahead and say lobby countdown because uh, we could just do a boolean. Uh, you know, we could just say private um, uh, boolean game started. Um, we could do something like that, uh, which reminds me, we oh, do actually need that boolean. Don't worry about that. Uh, private uh, boolean is started. We do need a boolean um, that says if the game is started or not. All right, so now that we have all this, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to basically work in our setup. We have to set up our game. And one of the first things we have to do is we have to define where the lobby spawn is and where the game spawn is. I'm just going to use one spawn location for when the players spawn into the match. Um, just to make it really easy. You guys can do multiple locations, um, but we're just going to do one location. So this is a very long line, uh, extremely long uh, bit of code here. Um, but basically, we're just do. I'll just do it for one, and then you guys can copy it for the other, and I'll just paste the other in after this. So we just want to say this dot game spawn equals new location. And now um, you can do this completely differently. Um, we're just going to be getting con information from the config. Um, so you could do it that way. So what I need is I need plugin dot get config. Um, and actually, let's go ahead. Yeah, plugin dot get config dot get string. And we're just going to say game spawn dot world so that is one and we're going to need uh, three more now so we're just going to set zeros into this for now oh uh, so we're going to need to just go ahead and say bucket dot get server dot get world um, and we're going to use this string here and now we're basically going to do the same exact thing here except for all these are going to be plugin dot get x quotation and now we'll just copy this. We'll just press enter to keep these separated. And this is going to be dot get y. And then this is going to be dot get z. Uh, and these are going to be doubles and not strings because they are not strings. And there we go. So now we have our location. And now I'm just going to copy this, paste this, and we're going to change this to lobby spawn. And then you can go ahead and select all these and change game to lobby and replace all. There we go. So now this is all we have to do right about now for setting up the game. Um, other game setups will be uh, like placing the TNT on a player's head um, when the match or like after like uh, we can do like a five second grace period uh, where players can all spread out and then it will place TNT on a bunch of random players heads. And all right. So now the next thing we have to set up is our lobby weight. So what's going to happen, um, and this is going to be in relation to this on join here. Um, we're setting it up so this entire server is the game. So this server, you cannot put this on a server in itself. You can code it so you can put it on a server with other plugins. Um, but this is set up so this entire server that it's on um, is the game. So what we need to do in our game manager now in the lobby weight is we need to go ahead and say we need to get how many players are online right because we want to check to make sure that we have enough players online to even start the game so we'll go ahead and say get online players 
dot size. And I know I did that wrong. That's okay. Oop, not online player, online mode, online players. Dot size. All right. And then we want to go ahead and just simply. Um, we're just gonna broadcast a message. Dot get server. Dot broadcast message. And we will just have this be nothing for right now. Uh, we will just have it say uh, uh, to do because um, we don't want to take the time away from all this just to send out a message. This message is basically just going to say um, it's going to run every time the server, or every time the player uh, joins the ser joins this particular server. It's going to just send a message out saying there are currently one of. X number of players online, 